You know, when it comes to my purpose, when it comes to why I make content, when it comes to why I talk to brothers, man, it's ultimately about men becoming better men. It's ultimately about men becoming better husbands, better fathers, you know, better beacons in the community, uh, a, a closer relationship with source. Like that's my mission. Everything I talk, everything I talk about, it may stray a little bit, but, but that's the ultimate goal about everything about soul, right? That's why I'm here, right? And, and I'm telling you this, brothers, you know, when I talk about us becoming this, this, you know, this type of man, this type of brother, like you have to understand how much the woman in your life is impacting that. Is impacting that. man. And I'm going to tell you this, brother. The last thing that you want to do as a grown ass man is entertain a woman that, that's not on board with that mission. You know what I'm saying? In other words, what I'm really saying is the last thing you want to do is to meet a woman, start spending time with the woman, and, and you wake up, you know, six months down the road, you wake up a year down the road, you wake up a decade down the road and say, you know what? Like, like this woman doesn't belong on my ship. This, this, this woman isn't, isn't, you know, my reflection, man. And I'm telling you brothers to avoid that. What you have to learn to do, man, is to see a woman at her core. You have to, you, brothers, we have to get to the point where we can see past, you know, the fancy nails, the, the, the eyelashes, the hair, the, the body, you know, everything popping. And I'm going to tell, tell you this, brother. That, that's not the easiest of things to do. But we have to understand, man, that, that to avoid wasting time, brother, because it's a lot of time wasted, money wasted, energy wasted. You know, in order to avoid that, brothers, we have to understand, we have to learn how to look at a woman at her core. And, brothers, today what I want to talk about, I'm going to give you three fail-proof ways to look at any woman and in a short amount of time see what she's about. In a short amount of time, see what she's about. Not necessarily what she wants you to think, but what she's really about, brothers. Now, the first thing you have to look at, brothers, is what is she showing the world, right? You have to look at this woman and say, you know what? What is, this, what is it about her that she wants the world to know? Like, what's her alter ego? And you got to understand this, brothers. Everybody has an alter ego, Everybody has a version of themselves that that's their truest self. And then they have a version of themselves that, that they portray to the public. And I'm not saying that, that that's a false self. I'm just saying it may be a limited self. For example, for example, I've dated women in my past and, and, and uh, you know, they might've seen me on the YouTube and they'll, we'll meet, we'll hang out. They may come over or we might just go on a date and they'll say, you know what? So like, like I didn't know you were like this. They'll say, you know what, like, like, you're a trip. Like, you like to laugh. You like to have fun. You enjoy life. They say, I thought you were just all serious. But I've heard that a million times. And in my mind, it's like, why, do you, why would you think that? But when I think, when I think about it, it's like, that's what I portray. That's the side of soul that I put on IG. That's the side of soul that I put on the tube. You know, but once you get inside, you'll be like, damn, this, this, this brother is crazy. This brother is, is freaky. This brother is X, Y, Z, whatever, right? So everybody has that alter ego, right? But you have to look at a woman and say, you know what? What is she portraying to the world? In other words, when you get on the gram, when you get on the book and the tube, you know, how is she, how is she, what is she putting out there? Is she putting knowledge out there? Is she putting information out there? Is she talking about health? Is she, is she twerking on every other video? Is she putting her boobs up? Is she, is she putting emphasis on her, on her physical attributes? Booty pics every day? And the thing is this, the thing is this, man, there is no wrong answer. Like one man's 5% is another one is a one man's 5% is another, is another man's 1%. There's no wrong answer. You, you can't look at the way a woman moves and say, you know what, man, she's, she's sour. She's doing X, Y, Z. It's just that she's not right for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if a brother is, if a brother is like a club promoter and he's always on the scene and he's always in litty, litty spots and bottles are popping, you know, it might be in his best interest to have a woman that's in that energy, bro. It might be a, it might be it might be good to have a, a woman in in his space that's 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 moving like that, and you can't say that's wrong. It's like it just fits that brother, but you have to know how she presents herself to the world. 
Why is this so? Because, brothers, you have to understand that a woman, however she's moving, is a representation of you. She's a representation of you, man. So, so it's not about, of course, when you meet her, you're going you're gonna to meet that true ego. You're going to meet that true self. But it's important to know her alter ego. It's important to know how she's, how she's, how she's wanting to be portrayed, brothers. And I always talk about, you know, the importance of how a woman represents you. I always go back to the MLK, you know, uh, scenario that I talked about a long time ago. I say, you know, we, we all know Martin Luther King. We all know Martin. We all have a good idea of how Martin was, how he moved. But none of us or a very few people, pe- pe- you know, very few people that are watching this video were alive when Martin was alive. But we all feel like we know Martin because of the way Coretta Scott moves, right? So, so, so a woman representing you when you're alive or, or when you pass, brother, is crucial. It's cru- Take Nipsey Hussle, for example, man. Every time you see uh, uh, Lauren London come up in the news or come up on somebody's post or some kind of article, brother, you're still judging Nip. You're really still, you're, we're really still, we're going to be understanding more about Nipsey Hussle by watching Lauren London until Lauren London dies. That's how crucial it is, man. So, so, so you really, you know, to get to the core of a woman, man, you really have to understand how she, how she wants to be portrayed. I mean, yeah, man, you might, you might want a woman that's a freak in the sheets. You might want a woman that, that moves in a, in a way at home. You might want a woman with a little bit of ratchery in her blood. That's cool, bro. But at the same time, outside of the walls of your home, you want her, this woman move in a certain way. You have to know how she moves, brother. You have to get down to the core of who she is, bro. So how she moves is, is, is everything, man. The second thing you must understand to get to a woman's core, brothers, and this is crucial, the way she interacts, let me just say it like this, her trauma. Bottom line, her trauma. You have to understand a woman's trauma, and not necessarily you understand it for yourself. You have, you have to understand how she uh, uh, understands her trauma, how she's dealing with her trauma. You know what I'm saying? In other words, has she even identified it? Now I know, I know in y'all's perfect world, man, everybody is just, you know, living life on a cloud, but I don't know any single person that hasn't gone through some scenario in life, whether it's childhood upbringing, whether it was somebody doing something wrong, whether it was abuse of parent, whether it was anything, the, mo- the majority of people I know, if not everybody, has gone through something that, that challenges their, their mental health, that challenges the way they see the world and they have to identify it, fix it, and then, you know, and correct their world and start creating it. So, man, to get to a woman's core, brothers, I'm telling you, it's imperative to understand how she relates to her trauma, man. Like, if she's still, if she's still, and this is the thing, man, I'm not, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that she has to be, you know, uh, uh, has to over had overcome a certain thing because people overcome overcome their traumas whenever they do. Some people do it early in age. Some people don't do it in until they're late in life. But the thing is, man, if you want to get to the core of this woman, if you want to eliminate spending several weeks, months, years, whatever with a woman without really knowing who she is, look at her trauma, brothers. Look at how she's addressing it. If she's still in this victim mentality, pointing at everybody back in the 80s or 90s, saying, when I grew up, everybody did this, 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 and this, and this is why I move like that, and she's still in that energy, brother, I'm telling you, cut cord then. Because it's just a matter of time before you, you're, putting some, you're putting some category as uh, you know, emotionally abusive or he's a narcissist or da, 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 da. there's a laundry list of things that people you know, like to put people in certain factions when really it's just, it's just they, they're still dealing with their traumas, man. Man, you know, I'm telling you this. You want to be with a woman who can say, you know what? This is what I went through in my childhood. Or this is what I went through in this point of life. And it damaged me. But now I can look back and say, you know what? It is what it is. And now I'm at a, I'm at a point where I'm creating my life. Brother, this is huge. You, you have to understand what, what part, what part of, of, of what side of the fence she's on, man. Is she still in this victim mentality or, or is she healing? Because I'm telling you, man, that's going to tell you, that's going to tell you a lot about what you're going to be dealing with because anybody can put the smoke screen up for 60 days, 90 days, even a year and portray themselves to be something when they're really not in, in you know, when they're really not in a healed place. 
brother, this is this is this is crucial. And I'm not making light of this because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of our people, man, have gone through a thing and, and we just we just move in a certain way, you know, to try to mask it. And I'm talking men and women. A, a lot of women will, will try to mask their trauma with beauty and, and the lashes and the this and all of that, you know, to, to make it seem like they're moving in a healthy mental state and they're not. A lot of guys will get online and start putting money up to the shoulders and da 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 and act like they're getting it to really cover up some pain they're dealing with, man. Make sure the person you're getting you're, you're with, man, has, has has addressed that pain and is moving forward. Or oh, I'm telling you, it's going to be a headache. It's going to be downhill from there, brothers. So so the way she deals with her trauma. Now this is for me. This third one is is one of the main ones, bro. Like, if you want to understand, if you want to understand a woman at her core, like, you really need to know what makes her tick. You really need to know what makes her tick. And when, I'm, when I say that, what I mean is, what is she fueled by? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like what excites her? What what energizes her? Like like what what make makes her light up and, and be the, you know, like for example, a lot of women, not all, I can say a lot of men and women, but a lot of women are fueled by drama. Like that's a real thing. Like like, and I'm sure a lot of you brothers have met women like this. You meet a woman, man, and, and y'all are talking or, or, or getting to know each other. All she, all she knows, brother, is, is bullshit. All she knows is the latest gossip in the, in the, you know, the latest people who done got divorced, the latest who beefing with who. Even when she's talking about on a personal level, all she's doing is talking about her friends and talking about the negative. This. Like she's fueled by drama. She's, 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 she's fueled by all this, this extracurricular nonsense that's going on around her. I'm telling you, brothers, a lot of women, 85, 90% of their conversation is about drama. That's what moves her. And I'm telling you, man, you have to identify what makes her tick. But because this is going to be the exchange of energy you're going to be dealing with forever if she's on the boat uh, uh, the, long, the long way. You know what I'm saying? So, so what, make, what, what is she fueled by? A lot of it is drama. A lot of women are fueled by flattery, man. And this is the type of woman I can't really I can't really be around too 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 long, right? And when I say flattery, I'm not talking about uh, uh, her love language is words of affirmation. I'm not talking about that. I- I'm talking about I'm talking about a lot of women are consumed with themselves. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it, I'm, like for example, bro. Like I know some women that that I mean, you can know them for a few days, you can know them for for a few weeks, a few months. Their conversation, their baseline conversation is always the same. It's all it's always it's always about, you know, their boss energy. It's always about uh uh how men look at them as, you know, they hung the moon. It's always about it's just always about shining light on themselves. And that's weird to me, bro. That's weird to me when women are are infatuated with with flattery. Like for example, bro, I dated this sister, man. And it seemed like every Every 48, 72 hours, right? It was almost like she had to remind me uh, that she made, you know, over $100,000. And I was like, why does this chick keep telling me this? Like, am, am, I supposed to, am I supposed to be moved by that? Am I supposed to be impressed? Am I supposed to be, you know, what am I supposed to do with that information for you to keep telling me that, right? Or to keep telling me about all this stuff and how people do that. I'm, like, I'm like, what is that about? Let me just say something real quick, man. About women and, and, and this boss energy, bro. This is the thing. This is the thing your sisters need to know, man. When y'all sisters are looking for a certain type man, like the man, the type man that most women are looking for, like he really doesn't give a damn about about how much money you make or you can buy a Birkin or you can. He really doesn't care. I really don't care. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. And I was telling somebody this a few weeks ago. I don't care if a woman is, you know, the, the COO of, uh, uh, hell, I don't know, uh, Victoria's Secret or Bed Bath & Beyond or, or AT&T. I don't care if she does that or I don't care if she's 
waiting tables at, at some nice restaurant I'm at. I'm putting both women, th- th- there's no difference to me. In other words, if I'm looking at a woman and I'm saying, you know what, she can potentially be like long-term, long-term, you know, sister. I'm not saying, oh, well, her, well this chick's sister, this chick's salary is, uh, is $150,000. Well, this chick is working on, you know, whatever in tips. That, that's not a deciding factor, to, uh, a deciding factor to me, nor is it a deciding factor to most men that most women want to be with. Y'all need to understand that. And I don't want to get off topic, but I wanted to put that in there, brothers. I mean, sisters, whoever, whoever's paying attention to that part, that's not a deciding factor. So women, so women, women need to get off of this whole I make uh, whatever dollars. Men don't really care about that, right? But getting back to what I was saying, brothers, understand what makes her tick. So if she's a woman that moves off that type energy, brother, like, like, like understand what you're dealing with. Understand that this is something you're going to be dealing with your whole life. This is something you're going to be dealing with long term. And if this is going to alter who you are and where you're going, just take note of that within three weeks and don't be waiting three years saying, you know what? I thought she was going to change, bro. I thought she was going to be changing. This is one thing a lot of women do, bro, when it comes to what makes them tick. And this is going to be the majority of women. Validation. Validation, man. Val- Most women are fueled or driven by validation. And the thing is this. This is, more, this is a more common trait uh, that you'll be seeing active in women. Most, most women are driven by validation. In other, word, in other words, how the outside world sees me. As far as how the outside world looks at my parents, how the outside world looks at me uh, and my relationship, how the outside world, world puts me on a pedestal, they want validation, man. And I'm telling you, bro, if, if, if that's something, like for me, like, like for me, that's the, and this is going to be me, and this is going to represent probably a very small percentage of brothers. But the sister that has to be validated, brother, she's not even on my radar. If she does get through, the, if she does get through that first layer, she won't make it through the second. And, and I understand that that I understand as a man that that probably puts me down to probably four, three percent of the female population that doesn't have to be validated. That, that isn't buying a certain bag or wearing certain boots to, to, to be seen a certain way. I understand that very few women move like that, brothers. So I understand that if I'm encountering that off the rip, it's like, oh, bro, no, I got, I, this is not going to work, brother. What I'm saying is ultimately, man, is this. When we're trying to be this, this man that we know we can be, this high vibrational man, this man that's tapped in the source, this man that's a beacon in this community, I mean, this man that's, that's an ideal father, a man that's an ideal husband, if you choose to go down that road, man. You can't be wasting time on, on women that, that aren't fitting the bill. So all I'm saying is, brothers, you must see her to her core. You must learn to see her through her core. And like I said a second ago, man, a lot of times it's hard, man. You get on the ground, man, and within 3.5 seconds, man, you, you're seeing baddies. You're seeing baddies, man. But all, all that glitter ain't gold, brothers. And as men that are, that are purpose-driven, we have to understand how to see through the smoke screens of life.